nifurahi kukuwa katika nyumba ya Bwana. Leo ni siku ya kuheshimu nabii. Na, na tunaivanya kwa dakika chache zijazo. Hallelujah. Amen. But the question is Lakini swali ni how do you honor? Unaheshimu kwa jia gani? Mm, because we know how to honor but how? Tunajua kuheshimu lakini tutaheshimu kwa jia gani? Amen. Amen. In the book of Proverbs 17 verse 13. How? Amen. Amen. When somebody tells you I love you. Mtu aikwambia anakupenda. It means different thing to different people. Ina maanisha kitu tofauti kwa watu tofauti. Some people when you tell them you love them. Wengine ukiwaambia unawapenda, they need a hug. Wanahitaji hagi. Hug. <laughs> Some need a lollipop. Wengine wanahitaji ile lollipop. Some need a message. Wengine wanahitaji ujumbe. Love mean different thing to different people. La, uh, kunipenda ina maanisha ma, kitu tofauti kwa watu tofauti. But there is a specific way in which if you tell me you love me, you should do it my way. Lakini kuna njia ya kipekee ambayo ukiniambia unanipenda unavaa kuifanya. For example, if you tell me you love me and you send a message to me, it may not mean anything. Kwa mfano, ukiniambia unanipenda unitumie ujumbe, hiyo ina uh, maana kwangu. <laughs> Probably it's good to send a message but maybe I don't interpret it that way. That's not the way I understand it. Probably I understand it in another way. The same way with honor. If we honor God, what do we do? If we honor the prophet, how do we do it? Proverbs 17, 13. Whose, whose soul reward evil for good evil shall not depart from his house yeye arudishaye mabaya bandala ya mema mabaya hayata ondoka nyumbani mwake this is a curse hii ni laana whosoever repay evil with good yule arudishaye mabaya bandala ya mema even there is no prayer which we should pray hata hakuna maabu tunapaa kuomba Anybody who do you good and you repay with evil. Evil will never depart in your house. This is not a prayer. It is the Bible. If somebody do good to you. And then you reward him with evil. Amen. Amen. What happens? In your house. Not in your job. Si kwa kazi yako. Not in your not in your in your in your in your business. Si kwa biashara yako. Not even in the school of your children. Na si kwa shule ya watoto wako. When you repay good with evil. Ukilipa ma ma mazuri kwa maovu. In your house. Nyumbani mwako. Evil will never depart. Mabaya hayata wao yote. So in your kitchen there will be evil. Kwa hivyo kwa chumba chako cha chakula kutakuwa na mabaya. In your bedroom there will be evil. Chumba cha kulala kutakuwa na mabaya. In your in your in your there will be evil. Even when you go to the toilet, you get evil there. Anybody who reward good with evil. Hallelujah. Amen. Evil will never depart. From the house. So anytime you come from your house. Whatever you carry is a evil from the house. And he's saying. Evil will never depart from his house. Will not depart. Even if you pray. Ata even, even if you fast. Ata the key is if you repay evil with good, evil will never depart in your father. Let us be very careful when somebody do something good to us. Because we should be very, very nice to them. And at least even if you don't know how to say thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. You should do one thing. Ah, you should just keep quiet. In the book of 2 Chronicles 20, verse 20. I'm just talking three points. We go to Geshiki. Evil shall not depart from his house. If you repay good with evil. And they arose early in the morning. Second Chronicles 2020. 
and went to the wilderness to Koa. As they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe his prophet, so shall you prosper. Wakamuka asubui na mapema, wakaenda inje katika njangwa la tok. Tekoa, mm. nao walipokuwa wakitoka mm. Yehoshafatu akasimama akasema nisikieni henyi yunda nanyi wenyeji wa Yerusalemu muamini bwana muaminini bwana mm. mugu wenu ndivyo mtakavyo mtakavyo thibitika mm. wa waaminini manabii wake mm. ndivyo mtakavyo mtakavyo fanikiwa by believing god Kwa kuamini Mungu you are established unadhibitika but by believing in the prophet lakini ukiamini nabii you prosper unafanikiwa prosperity is not with god kufanikiwa si kwa hakutoki kwa Mungu prosperity is with the prophet kufanikiwa kunatokana na nabii god establishes you Mungu anakudhibitisha when you believe in him ukimwamini he make you sure that you stand anahakikisha ya kwamba umesimama and nothing will destroy you na hakuna kitu kitakuharibu but when you believe in a prophet lakini ukiamini nabii that's how you prosper even if unafanikiwa so prosperity is tied to honoring and believing in the prophet kwa hiyo kufanikiwa kunakuja na na kuamini na kuheshimu nabii how do you honor your prophet unaheshimu nabii kwa njia gani and also how do you honor jesus na unaheshimu yesu kwa njia gani who is the greatest prophet ambaye ni nabii mkuu number 1 you honor by thinking properly ya kwanza ni kufikiria vizuri eh you honor by thinking properly about your prophet kufikiria vizuri kuhusu nabii wako you honor your parent by thinking properly about your parents unaheshimu una wazazi wako kwa kuwafikiria vizuri you honor your husband or your wife by thinking properly about your your wife unaheshimu mke wako ama mume wako kwa kufikiri mazuri honoring is thinking some uh, is thinking some uh, properly about someone Kuheshimu ni kufikiria mazuri ama vizuri kuhusu mtu fulani. Every time you are not thinking proper about somebody. Wakati wote au fikiri mambo mazuri kuhusu mtu fulani. Eh hey, you are not honoring. Auheshimu. The Bible says. Biblia inasema in Mark 6 verse 2. Mariko 6:2. And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue. And many hearing him were astonished saying From where has this man these things? And what wisdom is this which is given to him that even such mighty works are lord by his hand? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James, Joseph and Judah, and Simon? Are they not these sisters here with us and they were offended at him? Na alipokuwa sabato alianza kufundisha katika sinagogi wengi wali, waliposikia wakashagaa wakisema huyu ameyapata wapi haya na ni hekima gani hii uh, aliyopewa huyu hmm. na ni, ni na ni nini miujiza hii mikubwa inayotendeka kwa mikono yake huyu si yule seremala mwana wa Miri, Mariamu na ndugu yake na, du, na dugu yao Yakobo na Yose na Yuda na Simoni na maumbo yake awapo hapa petu wakajikwa kwake they were offended by jesus walikwazwa na yesu they never show him as a messiah hawakumuona kama ni mesia they never show him as our savior hawakumuona kama ni mwokozi wetu but they saw him as a carpenter lakini walimuona kama seremala they saw him as a brother to mary and uh, to sisters and brother uh, and and other brothers walimuona yeye ni mtoto wa mariamu na ndugu zake na dada zake they never they never took him as a great man hawakumchukua kama mtu ambaye ni wa kipekee they never thought him as a messiah hawakumfikiria kama ni messiah they thought him as a carpenter walimfikiria kama ni seremala their thinking was not proper kufikiria kwa hakukuwa kuzuri so if you want to honor kwa hivyo kama unataka kuheshimu you must think properly about someone lazima ufikirie vizuri kuhusu mtu hallelujah amen 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 You must change your mind. Lazima ubadilishe mawazo yako. If you have a prophet, kama uko na nabii, think about him as a prophet. Mfikirie kama ni nabii. He may be your age mate. Anaweza kuwa ni wa wa He may be younger than you. Anaweza kuwa mdogo kukuliko. But never think about him as your colleague. Lakini usimfikirie kama mwenzako. Hallelujah. Amen. They thought about him as who? A carpenter. Walimfikiria kama ni seremala. And the Bible says what? Na Biblia inasema. They were offended. Wakakwazwa na yeye. They were offended. Walikwazwa. How can a carpenter preach to us? 
That's how they were thinking. When they saw him on the street, they thought he's a carpenter. Any time you don't think properly about your pastor, you are not honoring your pastor. You are supposed to think properly. You are not supposed to think other things. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He is not a carpenter. Yeah, yeah, Look at Mary. Maria mu. When he saw him, alimuona, he brought oil. Alileta mafuta. And he started kissing his feet. Na he took yake. him as a savior. Alimchukua kama mokozi. He was thinking about him properly. Alikuwa anamfikiria vizuri. This is Jesus. Huyu ni Yesu. Even the day he, he selected. Hata wakati alifufuka, nobody else saw him. Hakuna mtu mwingine aliyemwona. The first person to saw him. Mtu wa kwanza kumuona. It was this Mary. Alikuwa tu huyu Maria. And he was given a message. Na akapewa ujumbe. To take to the brethren. Apelekea wale wanafunzi. To the last. Awaambie let us meet in Galilee. Imagine she was a lady. Why did he choose her? Because of the honor. Mary was always thinking properly about Jesus. Even he asked the angel. Where have you taken my Lord? Hallelujah. Amen. Even when he was dead. Hata wakati alikuwa amekufa. He was still his savior. Alikuwa bado mkozi. Bado alikuwa ni bwana. Hallelujah. Amen. So you should think properly. Kwa hiyo unafaa kufikiria vizuri. Think properly about your prophet. Fikiria vizuri kuhusu na kuhusu nabii wako. There are things you never think about your pastor. Kuna mambo haufai kufikiria kuhusu mchungaji wako. Yeah, you should never go there. Usiwahi fikiria. You should never go there. Mambo ambayo haufai kufikiria. You should never go there. And you should never be offended by your pastor. He may do something because he is a human being. The way you don't like it. But never be, be offended. Hallelujah. Amen. Always uh, something may go wrong. We are human beings. We are not angels. Hallelujah. Amen. But remember, you are not here for anything else. You are here to get spiritual capital. Lakini uh, We are not here for anything. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Number two, Amen. you honor someone by acknowledging him. Honor someone by acknowledging him. Amen. Leviticus 19 verse 32. Leviticus 19 verse 32. Walawi 19. You shall rise up before the gray hand and honor the honor the face of an old man. Fear thy God. I am the Lord. Mwondokeni mtu mwenye mfi Eshimoni uso wa, wa mtu mzee nawe mche mungu wako mimi ndimi bwana you shall rise up before anybody with the gray hair unavaa muondokea mtu ambaye ni mwenye mfi amen mtu mzee and you should honor an old face na uheshimu mtu mzee uso wa mtu mzee honor the face of an old man eshimu uso wa mtu mzee amen amen but there is a difference between age and old. Kuna tofauti ya umri na uzee. God is God is not old, but Mungu si mzee. But his age is we don't know the age of God. Lakini umri wake hatujui. Age and old is not the same. Uzee na umri si si kitu sawa. You can advance in years and never get old. Unaweza Tata miaka mingi lakini usiwe mm. usiwe mzee. But the Bible is saying. Lakini Biblia inasema. Whenever you see the face of an old man. Wakati wa wote unaona uso wa mtu mzee. Whenever you see a gray hair. Ukiona zile nywele nyeupe. In my head. Kwa kichwa chako. You should rise up. Unavaa usimame. Hata kama utaona kamoja you should rise up. Amen. This <laughs> So whatever should make you to bow and to rise up. Whenever you see don't wonder whether it's whoever it is. Usijali it, yeye ni nani? Anywhere that the Bible. Na ameongeza, fear thy God, I am the Lord. Fear thy God. Whenever you see an old face, ukiona uso ambao ni mzee, respect that old face. Uheshimu. Hallelujah. Amen. Notice that old face. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Acknowledge that old face. Amen. Hallelujah. You should do so. You should never remain the same. Hallelujah. Amen. So when you honor someone, you acknowledge him. Yeah. Amen. When he comes, you say hi. I, you should never expect your prophet to greet you. You Usi, should be. You should, yeah. kusalimie. Why should you expect greeting from me? Kwa nini ni kusalimie? It is you who should greet the prophet. Wewe ndio unavaa kusalimia nabii. It is you who should greet your mother. Wewe ndio unavaa kusalimia mama yako. You should greet your father. Unavaa kusalimia baba yako. Sasa unakaa hapo umekasirika ati niliende nyumbani na mama hapo nisalimia. Kwa nini nani anasaidi kusalimia mwingine? Salamu zinatoka hapa gani? Wale wadogo. Hallelujah. Amen. So let us acknowledge. Amen. Hallelujah. Tunafaa kutambua. Sio vizuri mtu ambaye una heshima anaingia mahali na umekaa chini tu. Is that honor? Hata unasema, ah pastor unaweza kaa pale. What does that mean? The pastor dia anaenda kuondoa Bible dia akae chini. So that acknowledge sio utumwa heshima sio nini utumwa na siku moja utakalia hiyo kiti unataka na siku moja utakuwa pale so can we nyinyi hamuna shida hiyo you are so nice nikuje ushirika nizikuje utushirika kiti yangu inakuaga pale ndio katika hii church hauwezi kuta mtu amekalia hii kiti yangu hata kama kuna practice ya kwaya atikute mtu amechoka amekalia hapa huyo ni mgeni na kichwa imeharibika wala wa huku wanajua Wezi kuda dika mtu kwa mekalia hapa they know whether I'm there or I'm not there. Hadi kama mtu akiosa ofisi mkute amekalia kiti yangu. Anasema na nafasi na anasikiaga vizuri. Wajua <laughs> watu wengine wanakaaga tu kwa ofisi na anaanza kutumana. Eh hey, niletoe maji. Wekereni hapa vile mnawekelea. Today I'm the small pastor. Nipigeni picha naweka kwa WhatsApp. You should honor bwana asifiwe. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Knowledge. Kutambua. Amen. Amen. Kutambua. Mbona asifiwe? Amen. Na kutambua ni kusema this is my pastor. Kutambua ni kuambia mzazi wako this is my pastor. Kutambua ni kusema wakati unapita mahali mkiwa wawili sio kunisalimia hai madhani agoso we mwaka pastor niko dhi turathi. Ni kusema mnaenda wapi na mnatoka wapi. This is my friend. That is what we call honor. Yoni ndio tunaita kuheshimu. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. So by doing what? Acknowledge. Number Kutamua. three, tunamaliza. You honor someone by adapting to him. You honor someone by adapting. Adaptation is honor. In the book of Genesis chapter 41 verse 9 The Bible says and the Pharaoh sent for and called Joseph and they brought him hastily out of Jordan and he saved himself and changed his raiment and came unto Pharaoh Basi mkuu wa majeshi akamwambia Farao akisema Na yakumbuka makosa yangu Farao alikasirikia watumwa wake akanitia nifungu akanitia nifungwe nyumbani mwa mkuu wa askari mimi na mkuu wa 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 wa, wa, wa kanji mm-hmm. Genesis 41 umesoma which verse The Pharaoh sent for Joseph verse 9 verse 9 mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. verse 14 nine ndio imeanza then pharaoh sent for joseph and called for joseph and brought him hastily out of the jordan and he saved himself and changed his raiment and came unto pharaoh ndipo farao akapeleka watu akamwita yusufu uh. akamleta upesi kutoka gerezani akanyoa akanyoa akabadili akabandili nguo zake na aka, na kuingia kwa farao when you honor you you adapt yourself wakati unaheshimu unajishikanisha when joseph was called from prison wakati yusufu alitoka kutoka gerezani the first thing he, he did kitu cha kwanza cha nyalifanya to save himself alinjinyoa <laughs> hallelujah amen 
Hallelujah. Amen. Number two, he changed the clothes. Ya pili akabadilisha nguo zake. Amen. Amen. This is adapting to Pharaoh. Hii ni kujishikanisha na Farao. Then he went to Pharaoh. Alafu akaenda kule kwa Farao. Why did he change? Kwa nini alibadilisha? Pharaoh does not want to see your beard. Farao hataki kuona zile ndevu zako. Pharaoh does not want to see your prison garment. Farao hataki kuona nguo zako za gerezani. You have been called to the king. Umeitwa kule kwa mfalme. You must change. Lazima ubadilishe. Hallelujah. Amen. When we say it is white, you must adapt. Tukisema ni tunafaa nguo nyeupe, lazima ujishikanishe pale. Amen. Amen. Si ni adapting. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Adaptation ni you you change things. Ni kujishikanisha ni kubadilisha mambo. You honor. Ya kuonyesha ya kwamba unaheshimu. When Joseph was called. Wakati eh Yusuf aliitwa. Oh, he, ch- he changed everything. Alibadilisha kila kitu. When God calls you. Wakati Mungu anakuita. There are things you should change. Kuna mambo unafaa kubadilisha. We should adapt we should adapt to God. Unavaa kujishikanisha na Mungu. If you want to, to work in this in this place. Ukitaka kufanya kazi mahali hapa. Eh hey, there are many things you should change. Kuna mambo mengi unavaa kufanya. Katika hii madhabahu watuulizaki maneno ambayo hayatuhusu. Huku tunaitagwa mind your own business. Mind your own business. So Huku wewe simama mbale kwa geti. Na nani kwa nini sija muona? kabla hujaogea maneno ya mtu huku na fast siku tatu Mungu akikataa kukuonyesha unakuja kuuliza bila kuobea mtu huku atuogeage and you don't bike bite <laughs> sisi sisi hatuna backbiting ni kuuma mtu na hapo nyuma kuogea kuhusu mtu uh, we don't bike bite and that is pure gospel pure gospel our name inaitwa pure gospel gospel bili Believers. Believers. So these are people who believe in pure gospel. Gospel. Sisi ni watu wale ambao wanaamini katika injiri ya kweli. Kabla tuja kuwa church, we are believers in pure gospel. Bwana azifiwe. Amen. So ni vigumu sana usikie. Nimeita mtu nimeuliza, "Eh, fulani mnamuona namna gani siku hizi?" I don't do that. And my children do not do that. Hatukaangi chini tuna discuss what we don't do it. Now they know everybody here know that we don't discuss people. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Na hiyo ni mimi na hata wewe ni wewe ni mshuhuda. Kuna siku umekuwa ukija kwa ofisi yako kuniambia juu ya mtu mwingine. 10 years tumekuwa na wewe. Have you ever discussed any No. You have adapted. Na ikiwa tutaongea juu yako ni kitu ambacho kinaendelea unastahili msaada. So that's when you are kept on the table. Ukiona mtu wako kwa meza ako kwa vieta Sasa kuna daktari mkubwa, kuna daktari wadogo, kuna mtu wa yule wa kupatia <laughs> eh? nurses. Kuna nurses. Sasa hapo ukiwekerewa kwa meza ni vieta Ikiwa hauko vieta uko reba ward. Mbona asifiwe? Amen. Huku ukisikia uko kwa meza, either uko reba ward ama uko vieta Mbona asifiwe? Amen. Alafu unaodolewa, unapelekwa general ward so that you can recover unapatiwa unapatiwa leader wako wa ushirika akuagalie na saa zingine wanakufaga so tuko na mochare ya tenant <laughs> unakuja unakuja wacha tuokee ukweli sio delivery zote zinakuwa safe na sio dieta zote zinakuwa safe na sio watu wote wako kwa wadi wanakuwa sawa but we have adapted tumezoea kila hospitali inakuwaga na nini na mochare na mocha ni sana sana ina iko karibu na critical ward ile ward ya watu mahututi hapo ndipo mocha ni iko we have adapted so sometimes kuna watu tunaangalia ga tunasema this is mocha le case bwana asifiwe amen na tuna ubaya unaekerewa kwa machera tu na unazidikishwa wewe ni kuwa kuzikwa you are not alive anymore spiritually you are not alive in but we have adapted hata tukikuzika spiritually tuna machozi tunaumia kwa sababu we have adapted to Christ Jesus so can you honor by adapting uheshimu kwa kujishikanisha in Jesus mighty name amen honor by adapting amen sisi ni watu wa maombi adapt kwa maombi sisi ni watu wa kupeana ama 
mali yetu ndapo tukakupeana mali yetu amen sisi ni watu wanapendana you can't know pastor ni nani leader ni nani nikita hapo yanaota big picture you can't know hata sikuwa nimwambia watabagu lakini tunakuta tuko karibu kufanana they have adapted mbona asifi amen haleluya amen si wetu wengine hapa tuko na vita na wazazi wetu because you have not adapted kwa wazazi wenu haleluya amen mamako amekuambia mara ngapi anakunywanga chai bila sukari na kila siku akikuja lazima uweke chai sukari. Sasa hiyo ni nini? Ah, ne dali gani roho? Nyua bua. Kunywa hivyo wakikudio wanasemaga. We should adapt. Nafaa kushikili kujishikanisha. Your mother is old now. Mama yako amezeeka. You should adapt to the old age. Nafaa kushikanisha na huo umri. Hallelujah. Amen. She has started to forget some things. Ameanza kusahau mambo fulani. Now you are talking to her, to her as if she's 50 years. Unaongea na yeye kama ni mtu wa miaka 50. And you are serious kumtetesa. Amen. Na una Buke video umemwambia. Ukituma pesa inakaa siku tatu. Sasa unamwandikia message. Madhe huduma day tuko kwako. Alafu unaenda unaingia unakuta hata hakubuki. Ameenda kutembelea mtu mwingine huko. Adapt your mother is getting old. In Jesus mighty name. Your father is getting old. Adapt to that. Amen. Honor is adapting. Tuzoe, tu tujipange. Haleluya. Amen. Watu wengine mpaka sasa hawaja adapt waliolewa. Mpaka sasa hii. Na watoto ni hao. Wacha ni, niweke mikono mtu aseme nimesema ni yeye. Na watoto ni hao nimekuchukua mikono yake. So usijasema mtu. Mikono huu na huu. Kuna mtu akona watoto kumi huku. <laughs> mtu aseme ni wapi? But still you have not adapted. Unas, unafikiria you are young girl. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Na vita mingi inatoka hapo. May God help us. Amen. May God help us. Amen. May God help you to adapt. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Ruth aliposikia Boaz anamgojea, aliambiwa na 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 Naomi, vaa vizuri uende. She did that. We should adopt in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Tunakemea law ya basiti abaya aliitu wakase basi edi. Could not adapt. But you adapt by doing that. Number four. You adapt by paying attention to the words. You adapt by paying attention to the words. Kwa kusikiliza neno. In the book of Proverbs 4 verse 20. My son, attend to my words. Incline thy ears unto my saying. Mwanangu, sikiliza maneno yangu. Tega sikio lako, usizikie, uzisikie kauli zangu. Hallelujah. Amen. You should honor by paying attention to the words. Unafaa kuheshimu kwa kusikiliza. Most of the time when you are talking to your people. Wakati mwingine unaongea na watu. Let me talk about myself. Wacha niseme hivi. So many times I will not tell you directly do this or do this or do that. Wakati mwingi sitakwambia ufanye hivi na hivi. And let me tell you one thing. Lakini acha nikwambie kitu kimoja. Any time you tell me a lie. Wakati wote unaniambia uongo. I will never tell you it's a lie. Sitawahi kuambia kama ni uongo. But I know it's a lie. Lakini wanajua ni uongo. But because you are an adult. Lakini maana wewe ni mtu mzima. I don't want to sh- <laughs> Kama, so I just take it. Naichukua tu. But I feel this is a lie. Lakini huwa anaisi ndani yangu huo ni uongo. And obvious when people are lying you know. Na wakati wa wote mtu anaongea uongo wewe unajua. And we are not foolish to allow people to write to us. Na sisi si watu wa wapumbavu wa kungo. Eh. Ah. Wakuwaachilia watu waongee uongo kwetu. But we know that you cannot lie for a long time. Lakini tunajua uwezi ndanganya kwa muda mrefu. Things start coming to the right. Mambo inaanza kuja katika mwangaza. You should honor the words 
by paying attention. Unavaa kuheshimu kwa kusikiliza maneno. Most of the time I ask people questions. Wakati mwingi wanauliza watu maswali. And they think I'm just asking questions. Na huwa wanafikiria ni maswali tu nauliza. But most of that question I'm asking you that is the thing you should do and that is the answer. Na ile swali na kuuliza ile ndio jawabu la kile ambacho unataka. That's how God has created me. Hivyo ndivyo Mungu ameniumba. So my son pay attention to my words. Kwa hivyo mwanangu sikiliza maneno yangu. So you honor by paying attention by listening. Amen. Kwa kusikiliza. Hallelujah. Amen. Without answering back or without arguing. Bila kubishana unafaa kusikiliza. Amen. Amen. Kuna watu baba zao wakiogea lazima baba inue mkono. It's my turn to speak. Na kabla hajamaliza inaogezwa. Akianza topic tu hata hajaendelea inachukuliwa na mtu mwingine inachukuliwa na yule hata tunasahau tulianza wapi. But we should never argue. Never answer back. Just listen to our father. Just honor by listening and by not on not answering back. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Kitio ingine. Any instruction kile unaambiwa. Big and small. When you are listening attentively. Wakati unasikiliza kwa makini. You should always pay attention to big and small instructions. Unafaa kusikiliza mambo makubwa ama madogo. Hallelujah. Amen. I was watching a documentary. Nilikuwa naangalia ile story. One of a brain clash. I don't know in which year which happened in West Africa. Nilikuwa na ndege uh, ambayo mm. ilikuwa KQ570 it clashed in Cameroon and what i saw there na chenye niliona pale something very horrible kitu ambacho ni cha kuhofisha somebody was saying mtu alikuwa anasema this plane did not crash because of many things hii ndege haiku crash kwa mambo mengi because of one thing only ni kwa kitu kimoja tu there was nobody controlling it Hakuna mtu ambaye alikuwa na i control. I wondered how. Nikashido aje. But he explained. Lakini akaelezea that the pilot thought that the plane was on auto pilot mode. Uh, yule rubani alikuwa nadhani ndege iko katika ile hali ya kujiedesha. Good. There is something we call auto pilot that you can program it and say this 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 you go kuna venye unaweza ifanya ijiendeshe yenyewe unfortunately kwa mbati mbaya the plane was on manual mode ile ndege ilikuwa katika hali ya kuendeshwa so he was supposed to be guiding it kwa hivyo alikuwa anavaa kuwa anaelekeza but he looked at the button lakini aliangalia ile button and thought that it was pressed autopilot lakini akaona kama ilikuwa imefinywa hiyo kitu ya ya kujiendesha. Na kulikuwa na yule rubani mwingine. So they all thought that the plane was on autopilot. Watu walikuwa nadhani ndege eh, ilikuwa katika hali ya kujiendesha. They never checked. Hawakuangalia. Until they crashed. Mpaka wakati ilianguka. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Small instruction. Eh, ma, eh, instruction kidogo tu. Eh magizo kidogo are you on autopilot wewe uko katika hali ya kujiendesha there are some people here who are on autopilot they don't need a pastor kuna watu wa kujiendesha hawahitaji mchungaji they are autopilot to heaven wao wanajiendesha wakielekea mbinguni from the day they read john 316 for the kwa wakati walisoma ile john 316 it's them and heaven ni wao na mbinguni amen amen pay attention to small things and great things sikiliza mambo madogo na mambo makubwa last three Number four, Honor someone with your substance. Proverbs 3:19. Heshimu mtu kwa mali zako. Eh? You should honor your father with your substance. Tumemalizia hapo. Proverbs 3:9. Honor the Lord with thy substance and with thy first fruit of all thy increase. Kwa hekima Bwana Proverbs 3:9 3:9 Muheshimu Bwana kwa mali yako na kwa malibuko ya mazao yako yote. Mm. So you should honor with what you have. 
Unavaa kuheshimu na chenye uko nacho. You should honor with your substance. Unavaa kuheshimu kwa mali yako. Why should we honor God? Kwa nini tumheshimu Bwana? Why should we give him money? Kwa nini tumpe pesa? Does God require money? Mungu anahitaji pesa. Does God require what we have? Mungu anahitaji chenye tuko nacho. Does God need us to give him anything? Mungu anahitaji kupewa kitu chochote. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What should we give to God? Kwa nini tumpe Mungu? Does God need money? Kwa kweli Mungu anahitaji pesa. Yet God is saying honor him with your substance. Na Mungu anasema muheshimu kwa mali yako. What does it mean? What does this mean? Hii inamaanisha nini? When you are honoring somebody. Wakati unaheshimu mtu, you honor him with even things he does not need. Kwa hivyo unavaa kuheshimu kwa hata vitu ambavyo haitangi. Sometimes you give something to somebody but he does not need it. It shows just honor. Eh, wakati mwingine unapea mtu kitu lakini akihitaji lakini inaonyesha hiyo ni heshima. I saw the president the other day. Niliona eh rais siku nyingine. He was somewhere. Alikuwa mahali. And then they brought him a, a gift. Na wakamletea zawadi. A nice picture. Picha mzuri sana. Why does the president need a picture? Kwa nini eh, rais anahitaji picha? Sometimes you see small girls. Wakati mwingine unaona wale wasichana wadogo. When when they are coming back uh, when when you have people of honor wakati tuko na watu waheshimiwa they give flowers wanapeana maua do somebody need flowers au watu kwa kweli wanahitaji hayo maua they don't need those things hawahitaji but is an honor lakini kwa heshima haleluya amen haleluya amen haleluya amen so you don't say that this person that don't need anything i will not honor kwa hivyo hauvai kusema huyu mtu ahitaji chochote kwa hivyo sitaheshimu you honor even with if they cannot need it even if they don't unavaa kuheshimu hata kama hawahitaji hicho kitu it is just honor ni heshima tu hallelujah amen hallelujah amen hallelujah amen number you can also honor with something which is substantial unaweza toa kitu ambacho kina physical kitu ambacho kinaonekana amen amen hallelujah amen 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 you should give something which is substantial amen Number three, you honor with substance. Kitu vigine mtu atumi, kitu vigine mtu anaweza tumia. Lakini kuna kitu hapa nataka tuone. In the book of Esther chapter 6. Kitabu cha Esther 6. Mm. Tunamalizia hii maneno. Chapter na, chapter 6. Esther chapter number 6. Nataka tukae nataka twende. Verse number 6. So Haman came in and the king said unto him, What shall be done unto the man whom the king the right to honor? Now Naaman thought in his heart to whom would be the king the right to to do more honor than thyself. Mhm. Basi Haman akaingia Mm. Mfalme akamwambia mm. afanyiziwe nini yule mtu yule ambaye mfalme apenda ku, kumuheshimu mm. Amani akasema moyoni mwake mm. ni nani ambaye mfalme apenda kumuheshimu kuliko mimi mm. Basi Amani akamwambia mfalme mm. yule ambaye mfalme apenda kuheshimu mm-hmm. na aletewe mavazi ya kifalme Ah sawa hebu tusome pole pole aletewe nini M- mavazi ya kifalme so guo zinaonyesha mtu amefanya nini meheshimika meheshimika tunaelewana amen ukiheshimu mtu ukimnunulia usimnunulie boxer <laughs> usimletee vest <laughs> nje kuna watu wengi <laughs> naleta vitu vingine abaso <laughs> uta Okay ni mzuri. Mimi nataka mtu toothpaste. Mimi nataka toothbrush. Mambo mengine ni mazuri lakini not a personal item. Ah, amen. So what am I saying? Mama anacheka kwa sababu anajua ni nini nasema. Watu wengine ukisema ni guo zile guo utaletewa hata utastuka utakuta kabuti kile ambao kuna mtu anaweza vaa inaweza valiwa na huku kina gop <laughs> kuna mahali kuna baridi ndio kabuti ya mzee umeletewa tumesikia pastor unamakaga usiku kuoba unavai 
Wacha kunietea kabuti. Nani ya mtuba? Eh. Haleluya. Mwingine amekuja na kiatu zingine. Kuna viatu zingine zinawagwa na wanadada. Zinafika hapa. Zinahitajwaje? Buti. Sasa kuna buti za wanaume. Nani hae hii? <laughs> Unaona mwingine ati pasta nimesikia matope inakuja na hilo nini inafanya nini? Sasa tumekuletea hii kwa sababu ya maobi. It's a good thing lakini wewe washa. <laughs> mwingine naenda na naka katuro zake ngine ka kitabu kanaitwa Bell Bottom. Anakuletea. <laughs> lakini mwadeka hama na kasema huyo mtu avalizwe guo za nini? The heshima. So you can honor somebody with clothes. The heshima. May God help you. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Na hii maneno naongea mpaka juu ya wazazi wetu. I wish you mnaelewa eh? inatoka kwa waza, kwa Yesu inakuja kwa mchugaji na inaenda kwa family so we can apply it there buy something you can honor your parent by buying clothes for them haleluya kitu ya pili alisema nini mm aletea mafalme mavazi ya kifalme ambayo mfalme amezoea kuyafaa uh. na farasi ambayo mfalme umpanda mwenyewe ah galine kedo ya kuona so waja kuniambia ile kakali yangu ni ya madharau kuna mtu aliniambia hivyo nikimuona kazi kuizi hata sitakazi kumuogelesha anakuja kunizalimia na niangia hii gari yako ni ya madharau serious <laughs> ati hii gari yako sio serious so nauliza unanizalimia wewe na uniniambia gari yako sio serious you really need a serious car oh i really need serious evangelism not a serious car tuna need watu ambao wana win soul seriously na kujeka kanisa seriously lakini alisema nini? Akaliwe apatiwe ile farasi. So only akasema huyo mtu wa change atoke kwa hii miguu akalie kwa gari. Namba 3 alisema nini? Ambaye ametiwa taji ya kifalme kichwani. Mm. Na yale mavazi ya, ya yule farasi aka akabidhiwe mkononi mmo, mmoja wapo mm. wa maka, ma, maakida wa mfalme aliye mstahiki. Amen ili makusudi ili makusudi amfike yule ambaye mfalme apenda kumheshimu na kumbura, kumkaribisha juu ya farasi kuipitia mm. kuipitia njia kuu ya mchi mm. na kum, kupiga mbiu mbele yake kusema hivi ndivyo atakavyofanyiwa fanyiziwa mtu yule ambaye mfalme ampenda kumheshimu kwa hiyo ni lazima useme lazima wabia watu Watu wamekuja kwenu, pasta amekuja, hakuna mtu anajua. Paka watu wanastuka. Kwani nani walikuwa huku? You should make a public proclamation. You honor them. May God help you. Jesus my name. Akarishwe farasi, awekwe, awekwe crown, alafu kuwe na mtu ambaye anasema. That's how you honor. Kuligana Mordecai. Mbona asifiwe? Amen. Tunaona last year tunamalizia, tunasema substance zako. You honor by doing something expensive. Kitu ambacho ni tadhamana. Kitu ambacho ni cha nini? Tadhamana. Tadhamana. Kitu ambacho ni tadhamana. Kwa nini hatuhisitaki guo mzee kwa kanisa? Kwa sababu tulijua. Watu wako na viatu mzee na guo mzee. So ukiitiza hapa useme uletewe itajaa hapa. Lakini wewe ulinunua ukavaa ikazeeka sasa ni nani huyu unataka avai ikiwa mzee bwana asifiwe why don't we have expensive things kesho tukiamka tuseme tunanunua kitu hapa watu wengine wanaamka wanasema eh hey, it's too expensive tutafutiwe kitu ya bei yes bwana asifiwe amen meanwhile nyinyi viti zile mnakalia kwenu amen Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Yule mtu kwake nyumbani. Hapa kwa chachi leo nimemaliza kuhubiri. Yule kwake anakalianga kiti ya plastic, simama. Kile borumu yako ni plastic, simama. Si usimame. Yule kwako ni plastic. Haya. <laughs> Nakalia gado na, na mikebe. <laughs> 
Hakuna hata mmoja. Bwana azifiwe. Imagine nyinyi wote hakuna fanya kitu. Hebu angalia ni nini umekalia. Kwa nyumba ya Bwana tunakalia nini? Kwa nyumba zetu tunakalia nini? Are we honoring God? Hebu tuogee ukweli. Hakuna mtu hata mmoja hapa anakalia ng'a plastic kwake. Lakini mkikuja huku we are very comfortable. Very com. Atini atini humility. <laughs> atini humility. We are not humble. We are we are not honoring God. Na kutoka sasa katika jina la Yesu. Hizi vitu tunaziondoa katika jina la Yesu. Moja moja katika jina la Yesu. Eh, hey, tununue comfortable seat in the house of the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Sitaki kuuliza wale ambao wanapikaga na kuni. Lakini unaweza kuta hakuna. Lakini wakati tuko na kupika huku huku naambiwa pasta usisahau nini kuni so unanikuta ni, hata nimewaekea hapa ni nyinyi mmoja hapasema kuna bado ziko hapa kuni zinawakojea ni lugha na yenye <laughs> adi na ina... yes ni mfano tunapatiana lakini kwa nyumba zenu hasipikagi haraka lakini kwa kanisa kuni inapika kwa nini kwa nyumba zenu hasipikagi haraka <laughs> ni dogo lakini kwa nyumba ya Bwana hakuna. Si unaona? Ona. Ikikuja ni chiarede akipika ni haraka. Lakini ikikuja ni nyumbani kwetu hazina haraka. Ziko na moshi. Na tuko na watoto madogo. Angalia chini mahali umekanyanga. Kila nyumba ambayo mmetoka iko na carpet iko na tiles angalia mahali umekanyanga leo the house of the lord mahali unataka uinue mikono mugu akuje na ni kuzuri na kwako ni kuzuri kuliko hapa ona si sema tumefanya vibaya nataka kukuonyesha we have not honored god vile ilivyo so kutoka sasa nataka tuibadilishe ma, ma, mawazo yetu kile kitu tunafanya hapa kwa nyumba ya Bwana it is the most expensive thing in Jesus mighty name tukubaliane ile heshima tutapatia Mungu wetu ambaye ametubariki katika boma zetu na katika maisha yetu kile kitu tutafanya hapa the most expensive thing so tukikutuma kutafuta viti zitueleza 800 tafuta 3000 because it belong to the Lord na tumemwekea nafsi tumemwekea gharama kubwa Nyumba ya Bwana na katika maisha yetu lazima tubadilishe na tujue kuheshimiana kwa vitu za gharama. Ukininulia credit, waja kuninulia 50 na unajua nimekopa dhate. Sasa umenipatia nini? Haleluya. Huwezi ninunulia credit ya 50 na niko na deni ya dhati. Umenipatia 20 na ni simu, alafu niambie nikupigie simu. Sasa ni nini umenipatia? Nimekutumia hiyo ili tuogee sasa piga <laughs> Anapiga reverse na umenitumia credit. Si ni credit yako umekula. Expensive thing. Na mzoe hivi katika jina la Yesu. Hatuwezi kuwa crabs zile zile kuko kule nje ziko na vitu za gharama. Mahali watu wanamalizia jamii zao. Watoto wana 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 wanaibika. Jamii zinaharibika kuna viti mzuri kila kitu ni mzuri tv zile zikule ziko kule ni kubwa lakini kwa nyumba ya bwana sisi wote ni maskini we must change this place in the mighty name of jesus christ nimewachochea so that you can honor your god ili muamke kutoka sasa na mseme ile kitu tutafanyia wazazi wetu the most expensive imagine mama yako mpaka saa hii akona tururu mpaka saa hii mama yako ate hey, eh huyu tukimununulia inapotea kila wakati tukimununulia inapotea sasa amekununuliwa kingine kanaitwa Aitel Aitel tiaka ni kazuri sana na madhe hata hata akawezi tok aida mahali hata akiangusha hata akiangusha ibujiki 
Alafu mnampatia punishment. Mnamshonesha kamfuko. Anahaba. <laughs> Soka kwaza. No. Let us honor our parents. Mperekee hiyo kubwa aweke pale akitaka kuvuja alikuzaa na hakukuvuja hata wewe. Si alikuzaa bila kukuvuja. Mperekee hapo avuje hiyo ni baraka in Jesus mighty name. Perekea mzazi TV ile kubwa aweke hapo wakivuja ni sauli yao ni baraka. Kwa sababu maigua wao kama kidogo kagido si tu. They feel very nice. Receive it in Jesus mighty name. Nataka kuwaobea neema ya kuona in Jesus mighty name. Eh hey, tuwe tuna heshimu with variable things. Vitu ambazo ni costly. Tukishika mzazi eh hey, sio kutuma mzazi kiadutu tu wewe na elfu bili na ukuje na kila kitu elfu bili sweta guo kiatu taka beti na sote zwe elfu gapi na pesa ya moto bike iko hapo ya kurudi kwenu ati na saluni na fea elfu bili na aenda kiadutu na ukuje na kila kitu na akure chipo huko zinaitwa chipu mwito <laughs> akure chipo huko na ni mzazi bwana asifu haleluya wacha aingie mahali mzuri tumwambie mama ingia hapa hizi 1500 tumia in Jesus mighty name eh ni wewe ulituza na ni wewe ulitubariki kuja afadhali uwe na biri mzuri kuliko kumi ambao wasiwezi perekana mahali bwana asifiwe honoring with substance nyubani ya bwana katika maisha yetu ukitaka kuheshimu huyo mmekaa na yeye wacha kumtafutia ati ile nywele ulitoa ndio unakuja hii nimeosha vizuri nimesema nikubariki naye ulitoa kwa sababu sio mzuri ulitoa kwa sababu sio mzuri inaoshwa <laughs> haleluya hizo tutata tutatafuta tuta kanyumba pale tutazuka tunaziweka wale wanapita wakati tunawafanyia evangelism tunawaambia you can bless yourself here kuna nywele ziko hapa na uga na kila kitu we are blessing you we are we are going to bless god tunaenda kubariki Mungu wetu na kumheshimu na vitu za dhamana wazazi wetu na vitu za dhamana in the mighty name of jesus christ watoto nao ambao wako hapa mzoeku kama mkiwa wadogo can you aim to honor your parent with substance which are costly Jesus mighty name eh hey, nanunulia baba shati lakini hakuna kama hiyo katika hiyo kijiji mzima akivaa inajulikana ako na watoto wako town hata kama wanauza nini ni mzuri lakini walijitolea mwaka mzima wakasemu akamnunulia hata kwa mdhuri leo ikana shati ile ita hana ile iki shati zina meta meta bwana asifiwe baba yenu akitokezea hivi sio anatokezea kama mtu ambaye eh <laughs> anatokezea hivi unashidwa huu huyu mzee ni wa nani mama tunamuona lakini mzee tunamtafuta mama kwa hapa ameangaliwa na vijana wake ni mzuri lakini mzee eh mana asifi kwanza koti ameikalia mpaka imefold inakaanga hivi inaandaka ikifanya hivi akitebea Mm. Na mifuko ni kama kuna vitu waliweka. Na yuko kiume no. Si wafadha. Bwana asifiwe. Na waelezea mahali ambapo baraka inafanyi inatoka bila maombi. Onali. Huyo mzee au awe ameheshimiwa. Huyo mama awe ameheshimiwa. Na ikiwa mama yenu hawezi cheka vizuri kwa sababu meno mengine imetoka aperekwe kule dhika awekwe meno meno imekuja karibu hata kile mambo kuna meno awekwe meno hawa nacheka vizuri <laughs> ikiwa ni nywele iliisha atavutiwe inaitwa nini atavutiwe wig haruka kiyoguo ndio agani mekuo hadi wageni wako atavutiwe ona in jesus mighty name sio mimi nataka muwe mnaheshimu kuna mahali nataka tu kuna mahali nataka murudi 
ndio baraka yetu ishike in Jesus mighty name honor them honor them with substance in Jesus mighty name hallelujah hallelujah yule anakubariki unambariki na kile uko nacho that's what we do we honor the prophet also by what we have we give rewards to them because he's honoring our substance in Jesus mighty name leta hizo bahasha sasa wewe leta bahasha kila ni wakati wa kuheshimu mchungaji hiyo bahasha utapata weka begu yako zawadi yako wengine wanataka kuadika kitu you can light it there and god will bless you you can light anything if you have a prayer request if you have thanksgiving and god will bless you you honor with your substance kala baba baba bashikaraba sintiri bere bere na uweke na baile ingine hapa ambayo sio ya ya kanisa ayo kuna ya kanisa acha tuone na haya oh shabala barabara barabas zikara barabara barabara barabas kete Sintelebere bere 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 Zukashakara bara 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 Zintirebe raba ba 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 Package it ikiwa kuna kitu ungetaka kuadika unaweza adika Wengine wako na prayer request You can do it Mta Mungu jibu maombi kwa jia tofauti And you do it in every way Zakari bara mara bara 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 Mm. Romans 13 verse 7 put it on the screen oh kuna kuna namba render therefore to all their dues tribute to those tri tribute is due custom to those custom and due fear to those who fear is due honor to whom honor is due Romans 13 7 that is the number you send you people you are blessed may god help you rima shakara barabadas Retailer, ba 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 ba. Zukara mara. Package it. You can light your prayer request. There's no problem. Oh, ramashi kara bara bara bados. Ziki shakara bari bara bara bados. Zusu shukile des kantala nas kalada. Zima mas kantala nayos. Rete be 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 skus. Roto bombo sikaranados Roto bombo siklidas kalanas Yitezi Yezi You are worthy of my praise You are worthy of my praise Yeshua Messiah You are worthy of my prayers Oh You are worthy of my prayers King of kings You are worthy of my prayers Oh You are worthy of my prayers You are worthy of my praise Oh You are worthy of my praise Jehovah Jireh You are worthy of my praise Oh You are worthy of my praise Jehovah Rapha You are worthy of my praise Oh You are worthy of my praise Yes You are worthy of my praise Oh You are worthy of my praise I don't know You are worthy of my 
praise as you are the of my praise oh, you are the of my praise you are the of my praise siku ya leo kwa maana kuna wale wako kiwango fulani wangetaka kuenda hiyo ingine na kuna wale wanasikia hapa niko nimekwama i don't know why you want to honor the man of god today i don't know lakini naamini is something god want to do in your life hallelujah nataka ukikuja hapa kuleta hiyo begu yako uamini you are honoring this anointing may the lord also honor your requests bana asifiwe sio kwa sababu huku ana kitu ya kufanya na hiyo begu yako ama whatever you are giving but you are doing it because the man of god amekuwa a blessing amekuwa baraka kwako Ndiyo tumeomba mengine imejibiwa mengine bado but we want to say thank you for caring for us thank you for praying for us Bwana asifiwe Hallelujah Tunataka kusema thank you thank you for caring for us Ah Ndaka kusikia kama kuna kitu in a spiritual area because i don't like kufanya kitu ambayo haina implication in the spiritual realm Father we bless you to this afternoon We are coming here with honor We are coming here with seed We are coming here with a blessing Oh we want to show to the man of God the man you have called the man you have separated yule ambao umeita kwa ajili ya watu wake ili akawaelezee njia zako na akawaongoze kuna kitu wale ambao walisikia sauti yake akiwaita nataka kumbariki nayo bwana tunaomba ukubali dhabihu hii shioni ya leo bwana na dhuhuri hii watoto wako wako katika hali tofauti wengine wanahitaji mkono wako wengine wanahitaji uwezo wako wengine wanataka msaada wako baba na kama ana umenisaidia kila wakati kutoka ile siku ambayo nilisikia sauti yako na ukamimina mafuta juu yangu ambayo imeinua maisha ya wengine ambao ni ushuhuda siku ya leo imebadilisha na imeponya mahali hapa tunaomba sasa katika jina la Yesu yale mafuta ambayo yanamininika juu ya mchugaji 
tunayaachilia katika imadhabahu sasa chochote ambacho watu wako wanahitaji oh tuwatangaza siku ya leo ala ah, bali barabara do it for them lord do it for them lord as they recognize the anointing and honor it may the anointing do it for them those who need healing do it for them those who need favor and breakthrough do it for them those who need just a blessing just a touch just a change of their lives change it for them lord may there be ministering spirit now in this altar May the weed of the Holy Spirit blow in this altar now. May the hand of God become stronger from this moment. Oh, shika rabarabadas. Kuna watu utafungua macho siku ya leo bwana. Na wataona yale mambo ambayo umewaahidia. Kuna watu utatenganisha na mambo ya kale. Eh, na wataingia katika anga nyingine mpya. Kuna watu utabariki leo and their life will never be the same again. Vile Abraham alifanya kwa maraika ambao aliwapatia chakula na kinywaji na wakatambilia uh, Sara wakasema mwaka ujao oh watakuwa ameshika mtoto the same honor that they gave to the angels that the angels who carry the blessing may the sellers of this uh, altar receive their, their blessing rika ra ba 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 raka ra ba 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 Reketa karabari bada Zokoro kororere Rima kanda la bareberes Zikoroboroboroboras Let there be born Destinies today Let there be a new beginning Ah Rika rabarabaras Father I pray May my children never be poor again In the mighty name of Jesus Christ You made me to access so many hidden treasures oh lord may they access them let money never be a problem in their lives may they be blessed of the lord may they be lifted of the lord and now holy spirit minister to them one by one as they come here rama shikara barabadas rembi shakara barabadas in jesus name we pray amen Uh, I don't know how to start. Lakini wacha nianze na wale ambao wanasikia katika roho zao. Kuna hatua moja wamepiga lakini wangetaka kupiga ingine. Wameanza safari lakini wanataka sasa another step. Usikie vizuri mimi ninasema kwa sababu nataka iwe prophetic. Yes, huyu mtu ameanza kuna kitu wameona katika maisha but agetaka kwenda another step hao ni tofauti na wale ambao oh god sijaona kitu hapa ningetaka kuona kitu ningetaka jia zifunguke let me start with those who feel something has happened but to getaka another step in jesus mighty name ikiwa uko katika hiyo category kuja and god will bless you in jesus mighty name We'd like to take a step. Rama shikarabadas. Rimbi baba baski intelenius. Ramba baba baskalanas. Ah, may God bless you and give you whatever you need. In the mighty name of Jesus, may there be an invitation to take you to another step. In the mighty name of Jesus, do better. In Jesus' mighty name, God bless you. Wale ambao wanataka kupiga another step. God bless you. Shika rabarabadas. They be. Let it be. Whatever you need, it will happen in your life. And there will be much grace from this moment in Jesus mighty name.